Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now the end of January of 2023, which only means one thing. We're getting very close to March 1st, which is, by the way, the very big day for Star Wars fans. The first day of The Mandalorian Season 3, debuting on Disney+. Plus. That's really going to showcase John and Dave's new vision of Star Wars and how it's going to lead into Mando Season 4. That's going to have a time jump with also a higher budget on that show, making it more cinematic looking. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now that brings us to what's going on with John, Dave, and Bob Iger. Now Bob Iger... All right, say what, you will about, say what you will about Bob Iger, all right? I understand I myself even have a lot of criticism about him as a CEO, as, of course, somebody who runs the show and who has run the show before in the past. But at the very minimum, I do have to give him some kind of credit for allowing John and Dave to do whatever they want to do, and he recently gave them a big-time promotion over at Lucasfilm again, to really kind of run the show in a better light. Now, we're going to be tapping into that in a second. Now, given that Bob Iger is really in this mode of desperation, damage control, whatever you call it, and he really wants to course correct the Star Wars franchise as fast as possible. Now, that brings us to what he recently did with John and Dave and how it does involve a lot to do with how Lucasfilm is going to be operating in the future. So let's tap into all of this and exactly what it really means. So, of course, Bob Iger right now is in full desperation mode to course correct the franchise by allowing John and Dave to take almost full control over the franchise. As of now, Iger is allowing Favreau and Filoni to take over more operations over at Lucasfilm in an attempt to fix the franchise as fast as possible. This is said to involve the most recent promotions that Favreau and Filoni received at Lucasfilm, where they will now be calling the shots and making big decisions on the hiring of other creative departments at Lucasfilm, and that some employees will be let go and replaced with others. Favreau and Filoni are set to be getting the OK by Bob Iger on deciding on which employees at Lucasfilm need to get fired and replaced with others. They are also focused on firing those that are very strictly loyal to Kathleen Kennedy's direction of Star Wars that has only divided the fandom for the past number of years. So let me just stop right here for a second, all right, before we move on to the more important stuff. So basically, John and Dave, what they're doing is that they're cleaning up house over at Lucasfilm. They're basically, you know, bringing in new creatives and getting rid of old creatives, or at least... The creatives that are loyal to Kathleen Kennedy that absolutely refuse to respect George Lucas's work. Now, what I like about this so much is the fact that John and Dave are taking over Lucasfilm one creative department, you know, at a time. And with each promotion that they get, they keep on taking over more departments. Now, this is actually a very good move by Bob Iger, because in the beginning... He wanted either John and Dave to become the president of Lucasfilm once they got rid of Kathleen Kennedy. I never really saw that coming. I don't really see how they could have done that because John and Dave, they need all the time that they have to focus on these shows. And they can't really focus on being a president at the same exact time. Or at least, I don't believe that they could. That's very time consuming and almost impossible. So, what Bob Iger did and even Bob Chapek did, was that they got these promotions that gives them so many different privileges over at Lucasfilm, where they're almost acting like a president. You know, both of which. You know, you can almost call them, you know, uh, like the leaders of Lucasfilm now. And when you look at John and Dave, I mean, these guys just know what they're doing. They know how the audiences work. They know how Star Wars fans operate. And so, they know what to deliver, and Bob Iger knows that. And that's exactly why Iger gave them yet another promotion to really take things further into a more positive direction of Star Wars, right? We already know that the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, uh, two shows that are being made by Kathy, 
are really not going to be something that's going to resonate with the fans correctly. Sure, it sounds great on paper. You know, when you look at the Acolyte, it's about emerging dark side powers. It's a mystery thriller. What's not to like about that? That's on paper, though. At the very truth of it all, it's a Kathleen Kennedy-led project, also a Leslie Headland-led project, and even Leslie openly stated that she's not a Star Wars fan. She never really watched the prequels. She knows nothing about these characters, and to her, that makes it all the more refreshing and gives her an unbiased direction as a creator to kind of just focus on whatever she has to do that Kathleen Kennedy basically tells her to do. And that's what worries a lot of fans. So, John and Dave, all right, moving further, all right, Favreau and Filoni are now essentially cleaning up house at Lucasfilm, like I said before, and are already in the process of hiring new creatives already to come into the company that will respect George Lucas's vision of the franchise. This is also going to give John and Dave power over deciding on the frequency of the Star Wars shows and films, and how the roadmap will be organized that will be up to them after they got this big time promotion at Lucasfilm from Iger. Kathleen Kennedy, at no surprise, is very unhappy and frustrated with Iger's decision to give them more privileges at Lucasfilm to change the course of success for this brand. Now, George Lucas will also be working more hand in hand with John and Dave after these big time promotions. So, what I like so much about this also is that you have these two very well respected creators that are going to be taking over more creative departments of all these different shows that are in the pipeline. The thing that some fans may not like about this is that whether or not this is going to take away uh, a lot of time on John and Dave's part, I highly doubt that. I don't really see that at all. Basically, they're really becoming higher up on the ladder over at Lucasfilm. And that's, I think, what's needed and long overdue. We need passionate leadership over at this company and not this, you know, mechanical, flat mind um, form of leadership that just does not work. And that's Kathleen Kennedy. You know, when she makes these Star Wars projects like Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, it's almost like she's just doing things on an assembly line. Like, let's just do this, this, and that, and that's it. Let's not be creative. And that's the problem. And I think it's one big problem when it comes to Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. And John and Dave, they tried to fix a, ha a handful of scenes, but it was just too much for them. So anyways, I'm really much intrigued to hear what each and every one of you guys have to say about this entire situation about these big time promotions and how John and Dave are taking over Lucasfilm piece by piece. It's looking fantastic and it really gets the fans all the more excited. So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.